Okay. Now this is a, another in my series of um, learning vocabulary, or better said, practicing vocabulary for IELTS. Um, it's slightly complex this one, but I do think it's worth giving a go anyway. Now the place I'm going to start is BBC Learning English, and this is just sorry, this is words in the news. Can be slightly complex to find, but I have a link to it on my blog. One thing I'll say is you've got a choice of lots of different stories. It's a huge archive. Um, let's have a look. Let's pick a story. Um, duh, duh, duh. Japan pledges one billion dollars to Pakistan. Click open. And what we get is a story from the real news adapted for learners. And what it does is it picks out the key words. Um, economic reform undermining stability, economic meltdown. A lot of these words are collocations. Terrific. One reason I love this is it gives you explanations. And I'll mention in passing now, you can also listen as well as read. Great exercise, I think. Slightly old-fashioned, but good for that. Now, first thing you do is you read it. I'm not going to do that for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just select a couple of paragraphs. There we go, two paragraphs. Edit and copy. Now, we want to go to another program, Closed Test Creator. Here it is on Google, Closed Test Creator. Again, the link is on my site. Click open. Beautifully simple, really. Click here and paste your text. And there it is. One reason this is beautiful, it's interactive. We're not going to use clues, no clues. Now you can use it to test your grammar. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to go for every seven words. What's going to happen is every seven words are going to be deleted and you have to put them back in. Submit. And here's the test. Prime Minister Taro Asso made the... Mm. Now, which of these words at the top fits in? Threatening to... Now, the word here is announcement, A -double -N -O -N -C -N -E -T. announcement, um, oh, that's wrong, red is wrong, I've made a mistake, ah, spelling, announcement, and this is actually a vocabulary test, because what you'll be doing almost all the time is looking for collocations, for words which go together, you make an announcement, announcement's a good word, but it's no good unless you also know that the word that goes with it is the word make. This is one I very much suggest you give a go. It's interactive, it's something you can do by yourself, and in my experience, students find this one fun, and fun matters.